to know where to go in the airport for a first time flyer is a little confusing here is a step wise guide for you to follow at airport keep your ticket handy most of the information is stated on the ticket whether it is your terminal seat timings or airline it helps you to navigate easily for smooth navigation use a trolley to stack up against your luggage trolleys are available near the departure entrances keep your id proof with the ticket as you need it at the entry gates once you are inside find your airline section and head towards it get your checked in luggage scanned if you haven't checked in online go to the check in counter and collect your boarding pass get your luggage weighed and sent off to the airplane from the baggage counter as a general guide carry on baggage should have maximum length of 22 inch width of 18 inch and depth of 10 inch these dimensions include wheels handles side pockets etc some airlines also enforce weight limitations typically starting at 5 kg now you have to go get through the metal detector for security check put all your belongings along with your hand baggage in the tray except your boarding pass for security purposes wear comfortable removable shoes collect baggage once your screening is over collect your baggage and everything else from the other side of the x-ray machines or screens your documents will be verified and the officials at the counters will allow you to move on to the next step in the airline process your gate is written on your boarding pass and you need to find the section written gate with the codes consisting of letters and numbers this code is your gate number to be able to locate your gate you can follow the signs or screens at the airport passenger can learn their gate numbers through these screens some airports have metros to reach the terminals and respective gates airlines do not charge for wheelchair assistance but you must notify your airline in advance some airlines will require a doctor's note after you go inside the airport inform the check in attendants at that you would like wheelchair assistance they can help you reserve a wheelchair use elevators if you are traveling with heavy luggage elevators are safer and less awkward than using escalators or stairs now some awareness tips in almost all airports in the world unattended luggage is treated as suspicious if an item of luggage is found in an airport then it is likely to be moved from its location by security staff to avoid the risk of possible terrorist attack while boarding the flight you will find the zone numbers on your boarding pass the crew member will let you know when it is time for you to board the flight starting with zone 1 and going up to the zone 5 before boarding using an airport toilet or washroom it's quite often and common you will need to locate the restroom also look for your personal hygiene after using the toilet or restroom nowadays all the airports are provided with free wifi also don't forget to carry your own charger for your gadgets the shorter flights do mostly do not serve full meals but airlines still offer either a snack and a drink and have an option to buy 
so it is good to carry your own food and beverages on board also don't forget to carry bottle for water while doing all these things do not forget to keep eye on flight schedule monitor screen extra leg room seats have significantly more leg room than other seats in economy if you prefer more leg space when you fly you can stretch out and relax in extra leg room seats but you have to pay for this more at the time of baggage claim there are lot of baggages on this conveyor belt so you have to tag your bag differently so you can identify the bags from this lot of baggages or you will claim on different bag or another person's bag so be aware about this